So remember everybody, when you're solving fraction word problems, we gotta look for those keywords to determine what operation we're gonna be dealing with. So when we think about words like the total, the sum, in all or all together, or anything that indicates combining everything, we know that that's gonna be addition. Again, bringing it all together, that absolutely will be addition. Now, number two, when it comes to subtraction, remember whenever we're talking about subtraction, everybody, we're talking about the gap. So the difference, how many more, how many left? Whenever we see those phrases or words, remember that's indicating, hey, how much is in between these two values? And to find out how much is in between two values, that is subtraction. Now we just have these two to go over with multiplication and division. So when it comes to multiplication and division, remember that the word of, when you're saying, hey, we need this many of that, that's gonna indicate multiplication. As we saw in yesterday's class, we also have product or times, but more importantly, the scariest one of them all is gonna be the word each. So we have each and both. Now, this is going to be important. Just like I talked about yesterday, remember that when we see the word each, and let's say we're trying to find the grand total, well, that's going to be multiplication. So when you're combining groups of the same size, like four groups each with half a piece, yeah, we're trying to find that grand total, and so we'd multiply. When it comes to division, and you see the word each, if we already have that grand total, and we're trying to figure out how many individual groups we can get, or when we're distributing or dividing quantities evenly amongst a certain group, yeah, that's going to be division. That's gonna be the bigger one today. We might see two or three or four questions that use the word each, and we really have to pay attention to it. But all in all, everybody, all in all, no matter what, it is all about treating every question as if it's a brand new one. Start by reading the question first, and then from there, we'll collect the information and see what needs to be done. We want a confident peace of mind before we actually calculate. And I want you to focus on that first. Because remember, even if you know how to calculate 100% and very quickly and confidently, it doesn't matter if we don't know which numbers and what operations we're doing to begin with. My party people, does that make sense? Before I give you a moment to take the rest of these notes down. We. Oui.